Hello everybody, Lauren Harpster here from Bead and Blossom, and today we are finally going to assemble the French beaded Echeveria that we've been making for the last two video lessons. Now I'm going to be assembling this a little bit differently than the traditional way to assemble multi-layered flowers. Usually you would take one petal, wrap it on, take the next petal, wrap it on, and so on and so forth until you've completed all the layers. But that can be very difficult to hold all the petals still um, while you're wrapping new ones on, so I am doing uh, something a little bit differently. Um, by combining all of our leaves into little bunches like this um, before we add them to the plant and that's going to help us to add more than one leaf at a time makes it easier to hold and um, easier to assemble. Okay now we're going to start in the very center of the Echeveria using leaves A and B. Now I'm going to do the um, B1 demonstration first and then I'll show you the B2 option demonstration in just a minute. Alright so we're going to take um, petal, or leaf B A, and then we're going to put all of the leaf B around it, and we want the cupped side, if you're using B1, the cupped side is going to go inward toward the A. Alright, so I've got that A inside the center, and I'm going to kind of grab and hold those tightly together, and then I'm going to twist all of these stem wires together. You can use pliers for this if you prefer, but generally I like to kind of grab it a little bit down lower below the leaves and then twist. And then if you need to use pliers, you can. I'm going to do that just so I get a nice tight twist here at the top. So I want those leaves to be really nice and secure so they won't start spinning around on me while I'm assembling or after. I'm going to go through and make sure these are all nice and close together and that they're kind of sitting nicely. All right, so there is the A B bunch. All right, now let me show you the B2 option. So if you're using B2, you're going to flip uh, leaf B so that the underside is facing outward away from leaf A. So they're going to sit like this. Again, the bottoms, just like before, I had the bottoms. I don't know if I showed that very well, but I had the bottoms kind of matching up at the bottom of leaf A. All right, so if you're doing the B2 option, yours will look something like this. And then you'll want to hold those as closely together as you can and then twist them together. back up here and rearrange them a little bit. And this is what your um, A, B bunch will look like if you used option B2. Alright, now let's look at combining leaves D and E. I've got one leaf D and one leaf E, and I'm going to put the leaf D on top of the leaf E, kind of off to the side, like this. And then I'm going to carefully twist those stem wires together. I'm going to kind of pinch and hold those two leaves together right at the bottom and then twist all those stem wires together. Now this is why I instructed during making all these leaves to keep these wires untwisted. It's because you get a much smoother and more secure twist if you twist um, straight wires together rather than twisting twisted wires together. So I'm going to grab right below those leaves and we're going to twist down. I'm going to try and make these as smooth as I can. And then where'd my pliers go? Oh, there. Okay. Then I'm going to grab right at the top. Make sure I've got a nice tight twist right there at the top, right below those leaves. But don't over twist because then you're going to snap your wires. All right, so we're going to be making five bunches like this. Let me show you the ones that I made for mine. So I've got uh, two of them that just have this color B on both the D and E leaves. And then I've got three of them here that are kind of mixed with colors. But it's important that um, leaf D always be on the same side of the leaf E. 
Now you can do it on the left side or the right side. It doesn't matter. Just make it the same way each time you make one of these bunches. So you're going to have five of them that look like that. And then we're going to have one um, leaf. What, what letter was it? Leaf E left over because we made six of those. So you're going to have one of them left over as a single that will be added on by itself. All right, now let's look at combining the leaf F into bunches. Now we made leaf F in two different colors. We had seven of them in um, color C and then eight of them in color D. And so we have 15 leaves and we're gonna combine them into five bunches with three leaves each. Now there's two different configurations here. The PDF shows this one. I'm gonna do this one in the video just so you guys, uh, those of you who have the PDF get to see both. But um, just know that this one here is in the PDF and I'll talk to you about that here in just a second. But I'm gonna show you this one here on video. All right, so we've got one leaf F made in color C and two leaf Fs made in color D. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of divide the um, bottom wires for the um, one leaf or color C leaf F. Or divide it in so that there's two on one side and one on the other. And then we're gonna take the green leaves and put them behind the, um, the blue one. And we're gonna kind of position them off to the side. We don't want it directly behind, but off to the side. So the leaf, um, the green one has three bottom wires and we're gonna twist that together with just one of the blue leaf screen, uh, bottom wires. So leave these other two alone for just a second. And we're gonna twist these, there should be four wires, three from the green leaf and one from the blue leaf. And you wanna match up the bottoms to make sure that they're even. Um, you don't want one kind of up higher. We want them down lower so that our wires can get twisted uh, really tight and close to the bottom of these leaves. All right, so again, carefully twist all of those stem wires together. And I'm gonna use my pliers to make sure I get a nice tight twist because I don't want any movement with my leaves. All right, so then I'm gonna take the second uh, color D leaf F. I'm gonna put it on, behind on the other side. And then we're gonna twist those three bottom wires together with the last two um, bottom wires from the um, color C leaf F. So move those out of the way for a little bit if you need to. Again, we're gonna match up the bottoms, make sure they're even. And then I'm gonna try and make sure that there's not already any twists in my wires, just to make sure that I get a nice smooth twist. And then we're going to twist all of those stem wires together. I probably should have gone the opposite direction with this one. Yeah, you see how my, my uh, wrap here is kind of coming undone from that leaf? So I'm actually going to, uh, I'm going to untwist it and retwist it the other direction to make sure that that wrap doesn't come undone. Okay. Straighten these out a little bit and let's do that again. All right, so I'm gonna twist it this way again so I can go the same direction as I wrap my bottom wires. Okay. All right, so there we have a uh, bunch for leaf, leaf F with three leaves each. Now do not twist these wires together. We're actually gonna combine them together with floral tape, which we're gonna do here in just a minute. But first I want to talk about this one. So with this one, we have the two to one configuration with the two turquoise leaves and then the one green or blue, two uh, blue leaves on top and the one green leaf behind. The green leaf should always be underneath the, um, the blue leaves always underneath. So for this one, we're actually, we would actually split apart the uh, green leaves bottom wires and then add one of these leaves on at a time. So we kind of did it opposite. We split apart this one for the one to two configuration. And then for this one, we're split apart the green leaves bottom wires for the two to one configuration. If you have any questions about that, put them in the comments below. Hopefully I was able to make that clear enough. Almost forgot to mention that you need to make two of the two to one configuration with the two blue on top and one green below. 
and then you'll make three of them with the one to two configuration with the one blue on top and two green below. All right, now we're going to prep the um, pieces by wrapping them all with floral tape. Now this is something that I do just to add a little bit of grip to all the components so that when we assemble them they don't wiggle around or slide around or anything. So I like to wrap everything with floral tape before I get started. And I'm going to start with the stem wire. So I've got my floral tape and I'm going to stretch the end of it, that's what activates the stickiness. And I'm going to put it kind of at an angle at the tip of the wire fold it on itself and attach it to itself on the other side. And then I've got this little tip above and I'm going to fold that down. And then I'm going to wrap down my stem. I kind of mush this and mold it right there at the top there to make a nice flat top. And then I'm wrapping down at an angle so that I get a little bit of overlap but I'm always moving down. And I'm going to stretch the tape as I go to activate the stickiness and I'm going to twist this stem wire in my hand as I'm wrapping this um, tape down, stretching as I go. Almost with every turn I'm stretching this tape. And right at the end I'm just going to break it off. Alright, now we're going to cut a long length of floral tape in half lengthwise. So I'm going to be wrapping all of these stem wires on my bunches with floral tape. Um, but I don't want to add a whole lot of extra bulk and so if I cut this tape in half I get that extra grip on my stem without adding a lot of extra bulk. Well, at least not as much bulk as you would get with a full width of tape. Okay, so now I've got two lengths of this half width tape and I'm going to use these to wrap all of the stem wires on all of my bunches. So I'm going to activate the stickies on the end by stretching it and then I'm going to take my AB unit, or bunch, and I'm going to wrap the stem. And again, we're just going to stretch the end, lay it around, fold it on the other, around the top, right below the leaves, and kind of stick it to itself on the other side. And then as you start it, kind of push down and squeeze it together to help that top part kind of stick in place a little bit better. And then we're going to angle down and wrap at a 45 degree, or not 45, but yeah, it's about a 45 degree angle. We're gonna wrap down, stretching the tape as we go, and we don't really need to wrap all the way down. I'm gonna start, stop, maybe about halfway there. This is just gonna give us extra grip and we don't really need it all the way down. All right, now we're going to wrap all of our leaf C. We left those without any bunches. Now, technically you could combine these into two bunches of four, but I chose not to for this one. It's not a big deal, um, but you can if you want to. Now we're going to wrap all of these stem wires as well, and these ones are a little bit harder because you got this single stem. We reduced to one stem wire on this one. So we're going to stretch the end of the tape and wrap it around and try to wrap it around right on top of that wire wrap at the bottom where we tied off that working wire. Try to wrap it around that. And then we're gonna stick it on the other side and I'm gonna kind of pinch that tape really hard to make it super sticky and make sure it hold, kind of holds in place. And then for the first couple of wraps, I'm going to do it kind of lightly and then squeeze again. Squeeze and mush that again. And then you should be okay if you kind of hold at the top here while you're wrapping down. You should be able to um, wrap that stem wire a little bit easier. Okay, so do that to all of your uh, leaf C. There should be four of them. And then for all of our leaf D, E bunches, of course, you'll do the same thing. Start at the top. Wrap down. You don't need to go all the way down. And you'll do that for all five of those bunches and then also on the single leaf E. All right, now for the leaf F bunches, I told you not to twist these together because you're going to get kind of a, um, a really lumpy twist. So instead, we're going to combine them together with the floral tape. So activate the stretchies. And if your tape ever doesn't stick, first try and flip it over. I feel like sometimes there's a stickier side to the tape. So if it's not working and it's not sticking together, flip it over and see if that helps. All right, now I wanna make sure with this one that as I'm going down and I'm wrapping around this, this stem, that these two wires don't start twisting around each other. 
So just keep your eye on it and try to be careful while you're twisting or while you're wrapping to make sure that there is no twisting. And I kind of pinch the two uh, wires so that they sit side by side. And I think that helps a little bit. All right, so you're gonna do that to all of your F bunches. All right, now we're going to start attaching them to the stem wire, starting right in the middle with the A, B bunch. And we're just gonna lay that prepared 16 gauge stem wire that we um, wrapped with tape, just kind of right beside the A, B bunch. And then we're gonna use floral tape to attach this. So again, kind of stick it to itself on the other side and then carefully wrap around. And you wanna make sure that this stem, the um, AB bunch stem wire doesn't wrap around the 16 gauge stem wire. So try and keep them nice and straight. If you notice any twisting, you should be able to go in and kind of mold it a little bit to make it untwist. So just keep a good eye on it. And we're gonna wrap all the way down to the bottom to cover up those wires completely. All right, so there's our A, B. Now for the C leaves, we're going to attach them with wire. And I'm gonna cut just a couple feet of, I'm using the same wire that I used to lace all of my leaves with, um, but you can use in pretty much any 30 to 32 gauge wire for this. All right, so I've got a couple feet of that and I'm going to attach my leaf C. I want the, um, the tips of my leaves to be almost even with the leaf B. Now, if you're using the, uh, the B2 option, you'll find that you don't really need to go down any further than right below the leaves, but I'm using the B1 option. And so I need, because those petals, these leaves are a little bit shorter, I actually need to move leaf C so it's a little bit further down the stem. There's a little bit larger gap there than what I would normally do because I want these leaves to be a little bit even, maybe a little bit higher, just like that. All right, so I'm gonna attach these two at a time. So I'm gonna put two of them at the same level there. And I'm just gonna take my assembly wire, leave a small tail. I'm not sure if it's gonna show up very well on the screen here. Leave a small tail kind of pointing downward toward the stem. Pinch and hold it right underneath those leaf C. And then wind that assembly wire tightly right around the base of those leaves three or four times to hold those first two in place. And it'll look like this. All right, now the, we're gonna add in the next two at the same level as the first two. So I'm gonna add in one and two. And I want these leaves to kind of fully encircle that AB bunch in the middle. So I'm gonna hold those tightly on. And then again with that same assembly wire, wrap it around right at the base of those leaves three or four times. Now we've got all of our leaf C on and so we're going to wrap this assembly wire down. We're just gonna continue downward. We're gonna wrap all of those stems very tightly against the um, 16 gauge stem. And we only need to go down about an inch or so. That should be fine. And then we're going to tie off the wire just by lifting up one of these little leaf C stem wires and we're gonna wrap around it once and then push it back down and that's gonna help hold that wire end and then we cut it off. All right, now if you want to, you can cover this with floral tape, but I'm just gonna go ahead and not do that this time. So I'm gonna cut a different assembly wire though. I do like to do that with my layers. So you have to use a different assembly wire for each of them. So I'm going to take um, I'm using now my um, D and E bunches and my single leaf e, um, e. So we're going to assemble these. We have to pay very careful attention because we always want this one to be above the, the we want the leaf D to always be above the leaf E and the leaf E always behind. So as we add on these bunches, we need to make sure that as we layer the next the second bunch on there, I'll show you that in a second. Let me show you this first one first. All right, so to attach the first one, it may actually be easier if you attach your assembly wire to the bottom of the leaves first. So let me show you that. So again, lay a little tail downward 
pinch at the top and then wrap a couple times and that'll attach that assembly wire to the first um, bunch of leaves and that will help hold that assembly wire in place so it doesn't move around on you. All right, so I'm gonna attach this um, DE bunch directly below the leaf C. I don't need to leave a gap between these ones. So directly below and then I'm gonna wrap one, two, three, four around the whole plant and then let me go back to where I was talking before. I'm going to add in another bunch and I want to make sure that my layering is proper. So I want to make sure that the leaf E is sitting underneath the leaf D. So let me scoot up here. Okay, so as you can see here, these are my leaf D and these are my leaf E and they're layering in such a way that the D's are up above all of the E's, but they kind of fit together like little puzzle pieces. All right, so we're gonna add in one of these DE bunches at a time, and we're gonna wrap three or four times around the stem every time we add on a new bunch. So again, I added in that third one, made sure that the um, the E leaf was behind and the D leaf was above. I'm going to save this single one for last, so put that aside. Right now we're just working with the bunches. Now notice with my left hand here that I'm holding the stem, I'm not letting go of anything until um, I wrap further down the stem. I'm holding everything still and in place with that hand um, until I get everything completely secure by wrapping further down the stem. All right, so this is our last bunch and we're going to add one, two, three, four. And as I'm wrapping, I am making sure that those wraps are staying high. I don't really wanna go down the stem yet. So keep that high. And then I'm going to um, identify where, uh, my stem's a little too long, okay. So I'm going to look and see where the gap is in my leaf E. These should be the larger ones on the outside. We have our five leaf D on the inside here, which makes a nice circle around the inner part. And then we have this little gap here between all of our leaf E, and that's where we're gonna put our single one. So we're gonna add that single leaf E right there. and then wrap that one on the same way we did before, wrapping one, two, three, four times. And now that we've added on all of our DE leaves, we're going to wrap further down the stem. And I am making sure that these are really tight. I am also making sure that all of my stem wires are nice and straight and aren't twisting around each other or around the main stem. All right, now we only need to wrap down about an inch or so. And then again, we're going to end that wire by lifting up one of these single stem wires, wrapping around it, and then pushing it back down to hold that stem, that little tail in place, and then cutting it off. Now, if you are making the smaller Echeveria, there is an option to make a smaller one by leaving off leaf F. If you are making just the smaller size Echeveria, you have added all of your leaves and you can just cover this stem wire with floral tape and then you are done. But if you are doing the leaf F, to make the larger Echeveria, we're gonna keep going. Now, if you want to, you can cover this with floral tape if the, all these wires bother you. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I don't think I did that in the PDF, but I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so if you do a wrap with floral tape, I would recommend going all the way down. My tape just broke off there. Going all the way down and covering over the wires completely. Now what this does is it kind of makes the surface smoother for the next layer, makes it less slippery, more grip. Um, now if, if this plant were gonna have a very exposed stem, I would recommend doing this between each layer because it does help smooth out any bumps. But this one, it's not really necessary unless you just 
want to. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to add in our leaf F bunches. Let's see. So there's going to be, oops. Okay. We're going to have three of them or yeah, three of them with the one to two configuration and two of them with the one to or two to one configuration. Now that is important here because we're actually going to layer them so that the two to one sits beside a one to two so that they can overlap like this. We always want the green behind and the blue above. So as we add them onto our stem, they're going to overlap like this. And then we have a, a one to two here. So we're going to do a two to one there. Do you see how that's working? It's fitting together like a little puzzle piece. All right. Now the only problem is that at the end, we're going to have two of the one to twos and we're just going to have to shift the leaves around a little bit to make them um, look nice and spread evenly there. Okay, so I'm going to cut a, a few more feet. I'm going to cut quite a few more feet this time just because I have bigger bunches to add on. Okay. All right, so let's start with this one. And I'm going to bend that stem wire there. And I'm going to attach it directly below the layers above. I don't want any gaps in the stem. Oh, let me attach my assembly wire first. Attach the assembly wire to the leaves by wrapping around it a few times. That'll give you a nice hold on that assembly wire so it doesn't pull off while you're wrapping. And then we're going to add that in there. Pinch and hold right at the top. And we're gonna wrap one, two, three, four times. These ones are a little bit heavier. If you feel like you need a fifth wrap, go ahead and do it. So I used the one to two configuration and now I'm gonna do the two blue to one green beside it. And I wanna make sure that my blue leaf gets on top. So I'm gonna kinda of slide it in so it gets on top of that green leaf from the first bunch. And then I'm gonna wrap that one as well. One, two, three, four, mm, let's go five. Okay, so I just did a two to one. So now we're gonna do a one to two and we've got these blue leaf F right here, and I'm gonna make sure that the green leaf F from the next bunch kinda of sits right behind that leaf. Again, we always want the green on the bottom for, this, for these layers and the blue above. And we're gonna wrap one, two, three, four. Now we're getting into the, um, let's see what I do. I just did a one to two now we're gonna do a two to one. Again, I'm gonna slide that blue leaf in so it's on top of the green one. And we're going to wrap one, two, three, four, five. And again, I'm with my left hand here, I'm holding all of those stem wires together. I'm not letting go of them yet because they are not fully secure. And then we're gonna add in our last bunch. Now we've got, a one to two on this side and we've got a two to one on this side and we've got a one to two. That means that our layering is not going to be perfect on this one. So we're just gonna have to shuffle things around a little bit. But we wanna make sure that the green leaf is underneath and the blue leaves are above. So we're just gonna kinda scoot over the leaves a little bit to make sure that they stay within that configuration. And we're going to wrap one, two, three, four, five and then I'm going to continue wrapping down the stem because I've added all of my leaf F bunches and I'm going to um, continue wrapping down to make sure that the stem wires are tight against the stem all the way down and we only need to go down about an inch or so with this wrapping wire all right and then we're going to tie it off the same way we did before by lifting up one of these individual stems wrapping around and then pushing it back down. Cut off the end. And now that you're done, you do want to um, wrap the whole stem with, with floral tape. And you don't need to use half width tape for that. You can just use the full width. So stretch the end, wrap it around the stem wire and attach it to itself on the other side. And I'm gonna kind of wrap up a little bit to make sure I get all the way underneath those leaves stretch as I go and then come down.
stretch some more. Pretty much with every turn, I'm going to be stretching. Okay. Now, I don't need my stem wire to be very long. My plant, when I'm done, is actually going to sit pretty close to um, the lip of my pot because they don't really have very long stems on them. So I don't really need a lot, very long stem below. So measure your pot and then cut the stem to that length. Mine really only needs to be about this long for my pot because I have a very small pot that I'm putting it in. So mine needs, only needs to be about that long. Now we're gonna go through and we're gonna kind of put your finger at the base of the bot at these leaf F and kind of push down just on the base. And that's gonna give you a little bit of a curl to this leaf to help it kind of push down and then curl up. And that's gonna give you a little bit more volume to your succulent so it's not quite flat. And we're gonna do that to all of the leaf F, even the blue ones above. So I'm just pushing down on the base of the leaves and then curling the end up a little bit. All right. And I'm gonna do the same to kind of all of my uh, leaf, which one is that one, leaf E. Push down on the base. Okay. All right, so there we have our finished Echeveria succulent all nicely assembled.